All right. Hello. Y'all ready to get this thing rolling? Let's go. Welcome back <sighs> to episode 15 of the Everybody But Me show. I'm here with the Jupiter Squad. We got Phil to my right. Good. Katie to my more right. <laughs> and Dominique right in front of me. What's going on, y'all? How are y'all? Great. How are you? Good, good. So welcome to the Everybody But Me show. We are exploring the world of singledom and why the hell I'm still here. And y'all are doing your thing so greatly, so so amazingly. Let's have a fun time today. Let's do it. Let's do it. Kate, get this thing cracking. So we're talking about advice. And I want to know, because I know you give great advice. Do you take your own advice? <laughs> <laughs> and this is coming from all the people who know you best in this room so i can't <laughs> wait for you to answer this i can't wait here to answer this one too yeah <laughs> yeah all right so we're gonna start this with a song but i'll be in the chat with y'all um let's get this thing going let's do a song add a song this is gonna be a good topic apparently because we are rolling we are live. little chatty kathy's here let's go. everyone's got a lot to say about this topic today we have a lot of advice to give. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need it. Oh, God, I need it. All right. Katie, what's your question? Hit us with it. Do you take your own advice? <laughs> <laughs> so I am the absolute worst at taking my own advice. Like, I'll sit down and tell my friends, like, yo, you should do this, this, and this. And then I will go do the opposite of <laughs> all of that. Like, I'm not good at it. Like, I'm good at because I think I think part of the issue is I try to see the best in everybody. So, like I I try to like look past like I only want to. So this is the issue actually. The issue is I only want to hear from my friends what I want to hear right. for that mm. person. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where I keep screwing up. Right? Like you know, two relationships ago, I was so head over heels in love, and everyone was like, like this isn't your values. This isn't your morals. This isn't right for you you know but my ego and, and everything only wanted me to hear what i wanted to hear mm -hmm. and that just kept bringing me down a path that never worked out never worked out never, even with the last relationship you know i was seeking advice but only to hear what i wanted to hear and i think it's you know that, that you have to put your ego aside like that's just a me issue and that's something i have to work on because like when you're seeking advice and trying to get advice from somebody like they're, they're seeing it from an unbiased perspective Mm -hmm. And and I'm just taking it from a very biased perspective on my end, you know. So it's putting that guard down, listening, and actually receiving it for what it is and not for what I want to hear is my biggest issue. I also think that when you walk the walk that you talk, people will listen to your advice more. I used to say this to my brothers all the time. They would give me all this advice in high school while they were in college, and I'm like, I'm watching what you're doing. Right. right. Like, like, I see this. I see this. You're yeah. doing the same stuff. Right. So, yeah. That's rough. I'll, I'll be like, well, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> because, I, I mean, I'm always, I mean, uh, yeah. Phil. And, and brothers don't want you to do what they're doing in the first place. Mm -hmm. right. So, let's start with that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're never going to put no. themselves in your shoes. Never. <laughs> Ever. You're not the, having a sister, absolutely not. <laughs> you guys are the angels to us brothers, and that's how it's always going to be. Right. <laughs> Who has been the best people for y'all to turn to for advice? When it comes to guys. Dating, yes. Um, this is the dating probably, show, Probably. In case you forgot. Watch your tone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, probably you, because I think that before we were as close as we were, I used to be like, oh, maybe he's just not texting back because of this and this and this. And like, I needed somebody to come in and be like, no, if they want to text you back, they're going to text you back. You know, like give yeah. me the black and white. So I think that yeah. like a lot of us girlfriends will be like, don't worry, he's probably doing this. Where like guy friends are like, look, I'm a guy. This is probably what's going on. So it's like that internal, you know, insight. Yeah. I feel like you, have I'm to be, gonna... you have to be careful what guy you ask. That's true. Because there may be a guy that you ask that may want to get with you. Uh, yep. And he's going to <laughs> manipulate his answer. Well, hopefully order. that's not the case. And I right. can still ask yeah. you some so, stuff. So, so, know, so know what guy you're asking. You know I agreed. I mean? Very yeah. true. Very that's true. Very true. Because, because I think there's a lot of like a lot of my guys complain like, oh, I can't have girlfriends, like girls that are friends. 
because I can't do it. I'm like, that's the craziest thing ever. So make sure you're asking a guy who is good with having girls that are friends right? because he's going to give you the best advice in that situation. But if you just have a guy that can't, it's like always just hooking up with girls, like that's not the guy to ask because it's probably something on the back end of what he's trying to tell you. Right. He's got a method. I feel like that's why Katie went to Ty because you guys have that type of relationship. Yeah, since I friends owned her freshman year of high school. We already know. It's I was going to hit on. I'm just kidding. Not- she friends on me, guys. <laughs> she did. It's been the best thing that ever happened to us. I feel like we brought that up on the first like three episodes. Like we made it known yep. yeah. multiple times. Yeah. So we're bringing it back on episode well, 15. Ho- hopefully we got new listens. Or <laughs> new listeners. <laughs> and so did Dominique. And so did. <laughs> <laughs> and the list goes on. <laughs> and Phil too. <clears throat> I Whoa. friends on him too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Who do you turn to, Dom? I was just going to touch on like the opposite of that and saying who you shouldn't turn to. And I think, and I know you can relate to this, Kate, is turning to people who are in a similar scenario as yourself. Because that person's going to be like, oh, don't feel bad about this. Like, that's my relationship too. Go to that person who always hits you with that hard hitting truth. Mm -hmm. The people that you're like, "Mm, I'm kind of avoiding bringing up this topic because they're always so brutally honest. That's the people you should go to. Not like your comfort friend. Yeah. If you want the truth. That's been a feel for me so many times. I just ignore it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, do you avoid talking to the people that's going to give you the realness? Sometimes you do. Oh, yeah. sometimes. oh yeah. when I'm in a bad place in a relationship, I avoid it. I can't talk to so-and-so because they're just going to give me the truth. 100%. Yeah. And I'm not ready for that yet. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Phil, who, who, who do you seek advice from? Well, this could be a tough one, guys. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm gonna be real with you. My best friend that talked to me about everything in my life, females all the way through a few years ago, was my mother. And I'm gonna tell you, I could tell her anything and everything, and she never judged me. So that's why I knew I can tell her the bad mm-hmm. and the good, mm-hmm. you know. And now I have to say it's one of my sisters. What's the best advice your mother ever gave you? Always be me. And she would say, well, I didn't raise you to do da 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 but I'm not judging you. But just, you know what, as long as you're being you and be honest with the girls that you're seeing, she goes, it's never going to be your fault on this one. Just never tr- mistreat a lady and always be a gentleman. So I tried to do that my entire life, and I'm still trying. Katie, what's the best advice you've ever gotten? I don't know. When you asked him that, I was like starting to think about it. I don't know. You have to come back to me. Dom? Um, I I think it's, I'm going to just piggyback off of Phil only because I feel like a lot of people have told me that I need to be my authentic self more as I've gotten older in relationships. And I think a good thing to think about is like when people are giving you advice, like some of my friends have been like, don't bring up this too soon. Like, cause that was your trauma. And if you bring it up, like you're going to scare him away. I get that in the beginning, beginning, but I feel like someone who really loves you, they love all of your scars and all of your trauma. And I even think it's like a red flag. If something's going so well in a relationship, but then you get to the point where like, "Uh, I kind of like don't want to bring up this topic to him. That's a red flag. Cause you got to start feeling comfortable for him to see these things that have hurt you in Mm -hmm. the past. So I think- And the uncomfortable right there helps you grow. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So I think that's it for me is just being myself. And it, So for my advice, the best thing I ever heard, and it's what I tell myself every time, is like, it's just going to get you one step closer and one step closer and one step. And, that's, and I think that's what always stuck with me. I don't know who said it or where I heard it or what it was, but every time a relationship doesn't work out, it's not a failure. It's just getting you one step closer and it's getting you to a, a place where you have more boundaries, you know what you want, you know what you can tolerate, you know what, what what you're into. But everything I've been through, everything I've done has got me one step closer. Have I gotten to where I need to go? Hell no. <laughs> but I'm getting one step closer. You know? What, Kate? I told you that. You told me that? Yeah. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> I don't need the full credit. <laughs> Katie, Katie sat me down last week and she goes, Tyler, I tell you so many things, and then you hear from someone else like, "Ah, oh, great idea." No, it was the one show where Tyler's like, "I heard this from somebody today," and Kate goes, "Uh, me? Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, you, me. yeah you took that from me." 
That's great. But it is. It is true. And somebody also told me that. It's like you're just one step closer. You don't have to figure it all out now. Yeah. Just be one step closer. I think one of mine, because I did go through a toxic relationship like so many of us did, was if you're not respecting yourself, how do you expect other people to respect you? And once somebody said that to me, I couldn't unhear it. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Was that your mom? Yeah. That's something your mom would say. It was. Like, but she also said it for many years, but I guess yeah. it just finally probably clicked. It finally clicked? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, someone else probably said it to you. <laughs> and, yeah. it probably, <laughs> and it probably worked. <laughs> We don't want to hear from our loved ones sometimes. I know. You know? Here's a, here's a, here's a but thought. But they do always know best. Yeah, amen. They do. Mm, some. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, so here's something for y'all. Here's, a, here's like a pet peeve of mine. And it's when um, you're trying to explain something to somebody or what you're going through. And then like you're trying to seek advice or whatnot. And that just, that person turns it into all about them. That I, that's like the worst. That's the worst. You know, like I think it's important when you're on the other side of like the advice end, like to listen, let that person go through what they're going through, talk through it, and then find ways. Maybe identify with some things, but so many times I've been like, I had these conversations with somebody and they just turn it to now I'm hearing their sob story and what they're going through. And I'm trying to get some help, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. I think the best thing too, when somebody's confiding in you in, in that sense, is uh, I think using like follow up questions. So they're telling you the story, right? And you're like, but why? Why do you think you reacted that way? To me, I'm like, damn, this person's like really listening yeah. to my story. And they're trying to help me figure out what I'm so confused about. I think that's so helpful when you're asking follow-up questions. Note taken. I like that. Thank no, you're right about that. I think, I think it's important to know when to put your input into something, you know? Um, like... Not even talking about relationships or dating with, because I don't really know my brother's situation, but like it could be in dating with him. But no one's gonna want your advice. No one's gonna want your unsolicited advice. You know what I mean? Like they they're gonna want to ask for it. Sometimes they do, but like for all the time I try to tell my brother about work and business and stuff like that, but he don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? And he can't tell things to people that don't want to hear it. Right. Mm -hmm. you know? Because you're the brother. Yeah. You I know? also think that's hard because. <laughs> Especially with my closest friends and family, it's like I do want the best for them. So even though they're not asking my advice, am I being a good friend by not shooting it straight with them? So it's also, it's something Tate and I talked about today too, like with family members. It's like sometimes I just want to tell them something, but am I overstepping or am I just being a good? I, th I think it takes, I think you have to see how they are receptive to it. But sometimes you just got to let your people fall. Then you just gotta be there to pick them up. Yep. You know, because yeah. I know for me, you guys can tell me a lot of stuff to do this and do that, but I'm probably gonna end up falling on my own and failing, and you know, like, or or being hurt, like, you know, my past relationships, or whatever. And then y'all have picked me up and scooped me up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But sometimes that's what it needs. I was like, oh shit, that's what they were saying. That's that's when I realized, that, oh, Phil was right. Oh, Katie was right. Oh, Dom was right. You know. Sometimes that's just us as men. Yeah. We have to fall. We have to learn the hard way. Yeah. I know I did my entire life. I'm still doing it. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. So I think you can't get deterred from somebody if they're not taking your advice. Right. But just be there to pick them up. If you truly love them and care about them, you'll be there to pick them up, even though they don't want to listen to you. So what do we think about timing on input, though? So like... Your friend turns to you the day of the breakup and you're like, well, he was a loser anyways. Like, I feel like that's like the wrong don't time. Ever say that. Yeah, yeah, like don't the say wrong that. time to be so harsh. Like, well, thank God, because we hated him. Like, that is like the worst yeah. thing you can do. And I, it's been done to me before. Yeah. And I feel like that's just not being a, a good friend because you're not thinking about what that person's going through. Obviously, whether they were blind to it or not, they saw something that they thought was true or they were chasing something that they thought was right for them. So I think like that's the best time to be a listening ear is like in that moment of of being so broken that, hey, I'm just here for you. I love you. And you're you're gonna get through this. So I think that's important to remember. Mm -hmm. Especially when you probably may reconnect with that person and you already said what you said. Like, oh, oh yeah. my bad. Yeah. That's <laughs> you know, yeah. I didn't like that person anyway. Well, Phil, like I feel like you're good at talking about that because, you know, being older, you've trained so many people. There's probably been people oh. you've had like we we were done, and then two months later, they're back with that person. That's and if you said something, I don't say it. <laughs> yeah, I think a big person that we missed on who to get advice from 
is the therapist. Mm, and, yeah. And I think, you know, I have I I tried to go to therapy one time and that didn't work out well at all. Mm -hmm. Um I need to give it another try. I should you not the therapist tried to hook up with me. And so and so, so I was like, well, this isn't going this to isn't work. Work. <laughs> This isn't going to be a good advice. Well, I was just going to ask, why, do you, why did you not think it didn't work out? But then you, you want, just said that. You want to hear so. the story? Yeah. Okay. This is a good story. <laughs> did she charge you? On <laughs> <laughs> so so I, um, me and my ex, we're, we're going through some things, you know, and and I was learning through that relationship the the wounds from my past from, you know, my mother, my parents, from, you know, just things I've been through, things that I didn't realize I, issues that I have, you know, abandonment issues and things like that. And I was, you know, I was like, you know what, I want to get help. You know, I don't know, you know, I've never gotten help before. I want to get help. I want to mm -hmm. see a therapist. So I find this therapist. Well, this therapist actually finds me. They, they DM'd me, right? And so I'm like, all right. You know, this one's like got like hundred thousand something followers. Like this one must be pretty legit. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. people are following her because she's that good of a therapist. And she's like, you know, between here and New York, I'm like, she's she's got a good clientele probably. You know, so I hit her up. I'm like, hey, like I would love to come in and like you know seek some therapy. You know, I'm going through some things right now. Really, you know, need some help. So she's like, yeah, come to my office, blah blah. So I drive to the office, get there, and I'm in the office. And I'm telling her what I'm going through and like the things I want to start learning about myself. And, and I'm asking her questions about hypnotherapy and all these things she says she does and, and whatnot. And so I'm in there and I, I was like, all right, yeah, like I'm ready to do this. I want to do it. You know, like I'm ready to pull the trigger. And then she's like, well, I just want to put this out there. Like if you do sign this paper, like you become my client. And when you're my client, like we can't like get drinks or like hang out or do anything like that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I, I'm, I wanna, I wanna sign this paper. I don't give a shit about that, you know. And then, and then, uh, so she's like, all right, we'll go to the other room and, 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 and really think about it, cause like, if I, I can't be your friend anymore, I, I'm your therapist. So I was like, all right. That's why I'm coming to you, but keep going. Yeah, I won't, you know. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. So, so, so I, I go to the next room. I'm in there, just like starting to realize what the hell was that about? You know what I mean? <laughs> And then she comes in and and she kind of gets close to me and it's like, are you sure you really want to sign that line? And I'm like, she's like, I got other people I can refer you to. We can like hang out, like get drinks, whatever. And I'm starting, I'm like, no, 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 no I'm going to sign it. And then I started thinking about, it. I'm like, wait, why am I going to sign this line? Like, she's trying to get me out of signing this line. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. and, and she's just like kind of like getting close to me. And I'm just like catching a vibe. And I'm like, this isn't the vibe I want for my therapist. You know what I mean? So, exactly. So I was like, yeah, this isn't right. Like, this isn't, you know, this so is. So you left with more trauma than you came with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say, tell me she didn't hypnotize you. No. Okay, she didn't. good. She didn't. <laughs> um, but but yeah, so I was so I was out and uh and that so uh, I would love to go give therapy another try. Mm -hmm. Um and you know, friends like, well, why don't you go try it with a guy? And I think Phil, you're, you and maybe Rob are the only two guys I really feel comfortable confiding in. And, Fair enough. And I don't know why that is, but I, I confide so much better into women. I love working with women. Like, that's always been, like, what's been easiest for me. Teachers growing up, like, I always loved working, having a, a woman teacher because I could communicate with her so much better. Me too. Yeah. You know? I, I hear you. I don't, I don't communicate well with men. Like, I think there's just too much ego in it. You know what I mean? And so I have to figure that out. But yeah. Do we need a, a Dr. Phil and Tyler on the couch session? <laughs> we I might. Mean, we, we might. Can, we I can mean, we can do it right now. <laughs> I think the other thing with therapy, because same, I've looked into therapy so many times and I had gone once and wrote it off because it was like the worst experience ever. Um, Why was it the worst? It just like... I sat there and talked and just not one thing was given to me, which might work for other people, but it's like, I already... You need homework. Yeah. Yeah. And I already talk it to myself. <laughs> no, that sounds crazy now, but... <laughs> yeah. I, already, I talk to myself too. Yeah. Like I didn't pay this much money to talk to myself, you know? Yeah. Um, but it is so expensive. Mm -hmm. I think that... 
there has to be ways that it should be covered or something because therapy is just so expensive. Yeah, I don't know how that works with insurance, but I remember looking at some of the like, it was like twenty thousand for this, and I'm like twenty thousand. Yeah. But yeah. I'm like, okay, maybe that I mean, you know, rationalizing like, as an investment in myself. Mm-hmm. And so I do need to bite the bullet. I do need to do it. I need to find the right therapist. I need to find the right person because I think eventually when I get into another serious relationship, those things are gonna come up again. Of course. Those wounds are probably still fresh. Like, mm-hmm. I haven't grown that much in a year. Mm-hmm. You know, I have, but not uh, probably emotionally in a relationship. You know. Mm-hmm. So I think that's something that I need to really sit down and try and make time and, and, and just pay the money to do it, you know. I'm actually surprised, like, in this room that more of us don't go to therapy. Just have some of the things that have happened to us in our lives, you know. I've, I've done it. Which I've, is great. I've done it a few times. Great. With, so with maybe you people. can give how, how us was it for you? some... Well, I have a experience kind of like that, but I don't want to talk about that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, yeah. She's still local, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Right, right. So, yeah. Um, I actually, when I switched over to a male therapist, wow. He, um, surprisingly, he helped me out so much. And like Tyler said, I don't like, I don't like talking to dudes, to be honest. Right. Sorry. I'm just, I'm more into females because I got seven sisters and my big brother's always picked on me. You know, long story, but I just feel more comfortable talking to females. But this gentleman, he really helped me out. Rest his soul, unfortunately, passed away. But I was going to say, I have a few clients who are therapists. If you're not opposed to bringing one on the show. I would love that. Probably can make that happen. I think that's kind of cool. Tell these clients I need help. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) On the show and off record. Do you want on and off? We can can listen. We can can make this happen. I think, you know, it may be in my own best interest to try and have a male therapist to try and break down that barrier of talking to men because in the profession I'm in in construction, it's a heavily male dominated profession, mm-hmm. you know, and it's right. how to truly communicate through these issues. Like I don't even like negotiating just because I'm like, I don't want to piss them off. I don't want to be pissed off, but that's like yeah. common communication. Like in, in the work world, like you should be good at that. But like for me, it's just like, I don't feel good about it. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I also would like to be informed on like where to start. Like, I feel like there's got to be an app where it's That's like, the hardest thing, actually. Yeah, like, like, when I was I was Googling, I didn't know what I was looking at. I didn't know who was good, who was not. Like, right. there's no way to figure out what is a good therapist around here in Jupiter. Yep. Yeah. Or Palm Beach County. Like, if someone does know how, please call in, comment in the chat, let us know. We talked about this not, like, a couple months ago, and I do have some screenshots but then we just got busy again of different ones. But I basically was just reading every review I could find. But like, it's so hard to know because one person might love somebody and the other might not. And it's like $250 for one session is a lot of money to just hope for the best. But I feel like this day and age in mental health and and, and mental illness, like there's not enough information about how to just go seek help. Yeah. Right. You know, like I mean, I I was trying to figure, figure it out myself. I couldn't figure it out. I mean, the internet. I was like, I was like, this person has literally zero stars. These people aren't picking up the phone. Mm-hmm. These, pe- you know what I mean? It's just yeah. like, how do I know who's good and who's not? Mm-hmm. Right. I will say a lot of companies now. If if you're listening and, and you're employed by a company, they're actually offering benefits for mental health. And if you have an HSA, which is a health savings account, you can pay that way. Dominique, Kitty's looking at me like. <laughs> I go so employer. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my damn benefits? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Phil, uh, Phil is supplying us with one. <laughs> I feel like Phil, as a, as a trainer, you're definitely a therapist. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. I, I was going to, I didn't want to say, but I will agree with that because um, even my therapist clients say I'm their therapist. See? So I'm honored to be able to, but it's all about listening because 90% of my fe- uh, clients are female and you have to, sometimes you have to listen and, but. A lot of them want feedback. Yeah. So I I give them the best I have. And and you made a good point. And I'm so stubborn. And like this is just shows how stubborn and stupid I am and probably all of us are. Like, think about this. Your therapist seeks therapy. Yes. You know? They so do. if they are seeking it, why the hell are we not? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? So it's very wild. very true. Something that I challenge us as a New Year's resolution by the end of this year or the start of next year, find somebody. We should get a few Every single ones one that come true. come on here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's get some therapists on here. Your boundaries and therapy. Boundaries, therapy, and 
God help us find Tyler a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. Well, let's go into a song. And then we're going to go to the IG write-ins and we're going to our callers. Yes, and we're going to catch up during this song in the chat because I forgot about the chat. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mentioned it already. I've been chatting away. Oh, have that's you? Cool. Yeah, yeah, I've, been yeah. Good job. I've been asking what people are drinking, where they're from, what they're wow. doing. Wow, yeah. yeah. What are you guys drinking? I want to so, know. I want to know. Hey, actually, is. go into the chat right now. Uh, go into the chat right now and put a song. Third song I see, I'm picking. All right, y'all. You need another shot. So we're going to do the right ends right now. Katie, what's... So what's, today what's... we asked the best and worst relationship advice you ever received. <laughs> and uh, the first one we got was the best advice was in a book called You Deserve Better. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh! This shit going to be good. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was it. They just said the whole book. Wow. Nothing specific. <laughs> no, they're saying the term you deserve better is good advice. Oh, like the title yeah. itself. Could be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Could be. Yes. Um Love that person. N- next one is bad advice. Go ahead and date him. He's getting a divorce. I found oh, that oh. that's not always the best advice. No. Wow. Yeah, no. Another one based off of, right off of that one. If that person cheated on their person with you, mm-hmm. they're going to cheat on you with someone else. A hundred percent. Cheaters cheat. Cheaters cheat. Amen. Uh, best, would you, this I think was my favorite one. Would you be rooting for your friend if they were in the same relationship you were in? Would you be rooting for your friend if they're in the, ooh. I like that Puts a it lot. All that is good. Percent. That makes you really think about it. it but my ego would be like, yeah, I'm in a great one. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend's hot. That's it. She's just, I'm just freaking out every other night, though. It's fine. Totally normal. Everything's fine. She'll grow out of it. Um, stay in your miserable marriage and have your own private life. I also think oh, this is... Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is like but holding yourself back. Yes and no. So, so if you have kids, right? Mm-hmm. How does that change that? Oh, I disagree. Yeah, I think that if you're in a miserable marriage, you are now showing your kids it is okay to stay miserable. Like my mm. mom left relationships that, thank goodness, she did because it turned our home not to be toxic. Yep. Yeah. I can't really agree good. with you more, Kate. I've had this conversation a dozen times with clients. And I will say some of them stayed because of kids. <laughs> I disagree with it. Sorry. And some old school people will be like, well, you made this commitment. You made this, you know. Right. For better, for worse. For better, yeah. for worse. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. And life's too short to just be stuck in a rut, to be miserable. Yeah. Like, that's that's terrible, you mm-hmm. know. You know, I, I understand the obligation of your kids and like trying to show them a full home and all that stuff. But I think you said it like I can't argue what you said at all. One bit, Kate. Like That was very good. But, but I also think that you try everything before you get to that point. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Work for it. Work for it. Yeah. Just don't quit. But don't. Right. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Um, this is one where I don't even think twice about anymore, but I definitely did when I was younger. And it doesn't say whether it's good advice or bad, but it says don't double text. Ugh. Where I feel like when we were younger, we'd be like, oh my gosh, don't double text him. Mm-hmm. And now I'd be like, hey, what do you want for lunch? Okay, what about this? <laughs> what about like, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't even. In a healthy relationship. I also think though. too, like, like one thing I hated is like the game people be like, oh, he texted me back 20 minutes. I'm going to wait 30. Yeah. Oh, I hated that. I don't play that. If y'all play that, come on now. Stop playing games. Yeah. Tyler, the very next one was mm. worst advice. Wait a determined amount of time to text. <laughs> really? <back>. Yes. <laughs> Terrible advice. Terrible, Terrible advice. advice. Terrible. <laughs> um, <laughs> if it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. That's somebody's best advice. If it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. Wow. I like that. that but, means but we could take it a few different ways. Interesting. If that person doesn't excite you, it's a hell no. But but here but you know? but but 
all my relationships have started with a hell yes. <laughs> and then they wound up turned being a to hell a hell no. No. <laughs> no, you thought they were a hell yeses. <laughs> yeah. So I don't believe because like that's the whole like start, like chasing fire. Like what I've like you know we talked about that like a few weeks back. Like in my relationships, I've always like sought like that fire. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then like it just a, a quick burn. You're like, hell yes, hell yes, hell. No. <laughs> <laughs> so so I don't know if I necessarily agree with that because that doesn't go with what we were talking about a few weeks ago. You know, maybe I, I don't I don't necessarily agree with the hell it yes. De- it depends on the context. Yeah. But T, right. you like adrenaline. I do. Right? I like I like I like to punch the gas and ride till the wheels fall off. But so do I, but everyone doesn't like that. Mm-hmm. So what they said with the hell yes, they don't mean a hell yes for 24 hours. No, no, I'm not saying 24 hours. <laughs> they, you know, they mean a hell yes for a, more of a long period of time, I yeah. believe. Yeah. You but, know? but like within that hell yes, you're going to find no's, but you have to choose what, you know, what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Mm-hmm. True. Because I, I, I think that goes back to all my issues right there. The hell yes is, you know. What my, got you into certain got, Is what got me into all situations. these things. And, and like kept me in situations also because I'm looking at the hell yeses and ignoring the notes. Mm. Right. You know? So I don't know if that's good advice. I get what they're trying to say, mm-hmm. but I think, you know, it's all about building the right foundation. And all my hell yeses have not, I've started with building, being built on sand. <laughs> Quick. Wash away. Quick sand. Quick sand. Ooh. Quick sand. They just sink. <laughs> and they suffocate you. <laughs> and then you die. <laughs> Luckily, you're still here, so let's backtrack. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if it's not making you a better person, it's not for you. I love this one. I agree with that, too. Yep. 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 I think we've uh, all been I, in relationships that I drag might, us down. Yep. Definitely. I think that's the best advice we've gotten so far. Mm-hmm. Besides, you deserve a better book. <laughs> <laughs> not biased not. at all. Not biased <laughs> at all. Only hearing what I want to hear, guys. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Um, to accept situations that don't meet my boundaries. Amen. This is a Katie, this, this is, is a Katie biblical scripture right here. Yes. As of 2022. Mm-hmm. Boundaries are important. In every aspect. Relationship, friendships, family. Yeah. And but they are scary to set. Especially being people pleasers like we all are. I was just going to say the same thing. The four of us have problems doing that. It's like setting setting a boundary feels like I'm letting somebody down. But it's like if you don't set that boundary, you're letting yourself down. And that goes back to the self-respect. Yep. Yep. But she only punched me in the face once. (laughs) (laughs) What were you going through? She's nice the rest of the time. I know. She's so nice. And like we said, hopefully we find that therapist soon. (laughs) Just kidding. Um, worse, forgive and forget to save a relationship. Forgive and forget to save a relationship. What? Like, oh. just forget that he cheated. Just, just to forgive save it. and forget. No. Oh, no. Hell to no. the fuck to the no. Yeah. No. Hell no. to the no. 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 Walk and run. You show me who you are. That's it. And like, there's things again, like, you know, let's go back to boundaries too. It doesn't have to be cheating, it can be things that are wrong. You know, and if you let it slide, it's going to keep going and going and going. You know, like there's so many times I'm like, so what's up with this? You know, why is he hitting you up? Why is this in the news about you and them? You know, Mm -hmm. no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Why does he keep coming back? Why does he keep coming back? And then eventually it's like, oh, that's why. Mm Because you were doing that shit. Right. Right. You know, so. It's also trusting your instinct. Yeah. Yeah. Your I'm, gut. Your gut. That that gut. Smart motherfucker. Your yeah. gut doesn't mm-hmm. lie. Um, this is the last one. I think it's a good one for you, Tyler. Thanks. Um, don't expect people to change. Either love them for who they are or leave if it's a deal breaker. Don't wait. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of times, and I used to do the same thing too. It's like, oh, they'll get there. Oh my god. Or we'll get there. <laughs> They'll change, not necessarily even change. Like, oh, we'll grow into that. It's like either love who it is for where they're at now. You can't like put the pressure on somebody to change, mm-hmm. and or it's yourself. Our it's not our, it's job not our job to make yeah. someone change. You know, Mm-mm. and we don't have the time to try and wait that or force that. You know, yeah, that was that one hits me 
I agree. Right to, in the gut. Yeah, I agree to disagree on that one. Okay, really? Bit. I love little, that. Just a little, just a little. Um, well, I would say females are, we, are, we already had this conversation, females are way more mature than us men. And mm -hmm. sometimes it takes us a little longer to catch up to you guys. So I'm not saying raise us, but I'm saying like, give us time to catch up a little bit and we'll become the men that you probably want us to be later on. Yeah, in, in, in certain things. Like, in certain things, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not, you know. You know, oh, he, he, he messes around too much for his career. He's not focused. Like, like you can grow out of that. Oh, right. absolutely. But absolutely. Like, respect and, like, relationship stuff, like, I think more of those things are kind of like. Morals. Yes. Yeah, morals. That's, yeah. that's a no-go. You Pro got them yeah, or you yeah, don't. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I think, yeah, I do think men need to grow up in that. We, thing, we, we need time to grow up a little bit in certain points of our life. So yeah, but it has to be the right points. To, to, right. You know, the, yeah. the waiting on. Mm-hmm. But I'm I'm and harsh on certain things. Like I like I said before, like I've told my daughters, I got four daughters, I tell them all, if that man doesn't open the door for you, <laughs> it's it's probably a rap already. Because and I, and I have, he's I have, selfish. I have guys, my my friends who are older and they're dating younger girls and younger women, I should say. They're they're dating younger women and they're like, Oh, well, she's just gonna grow out of that. Or she's gonna you know, like she's just going through like a, <laughs> the phase. Like she wants to be this, she wants to be this, she she'll grow out of that. I'm like she, she she's gonna listen to me. She's gonna change because I'm trying. I'm telling her this, this, and that. I'm like, yo, that's like one. That's not right. No. Two. That's manipulating. Mm -hmm. And three. It's not your job to change her. You mm -hmm. know. And so I'm always like, like that's not your relationship to be in. She's not ready. You're not ready. Like that's not how. Like I think a lot of it's fucked up. But a lot of older men like to date really young. Yep. Because they think they can mold them and yeah. make them do whatever they say or want because they can show money. <clears> they can show like an easier life. All these things. And I've seen it firsthand with a lot of my friends. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, I try to communicate to them. Like, that's fucked up. That's not, it's also not fulfilling either. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, it's like, to me, they're like, they're like, they're like, cap, like they're just keep, they're keeping these women captive. Like, yeah, it's weird. You know, that's, that's right. weird. Mm -hmm. Controlling. It's controlling. Very controlling. Very controlling. Right. And yep. insecure people control people. That's it. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's it. Hit right on the head. They might have big wallets and be, feel insecure about the rest of themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's mostly what it's about. Yep. Just chill. So, oh, someone wrote, maturity isn't looking for spark and fire. All sparks and fires burn out. Will you like the person long term? Can you grow? My spark hasn't. Hmm. But like, I hate I, when I, people I, say that. I think I think your your boyfriend's a great example, right? Like you've had to have little like things to talk about about growing up and maturing and helping out and doing things around the house. Mm -hmm. And he's been receptive to him. But it has never been anything that's compromised respect or your relationship mm -mm. you know and it's also something that i don't have to repeat i think the biggest problem phil like you were saying with guys sometimes like love to use what you just said like we need a little bit of you know teaching and stuff right. and it's like then listen and learn Ooh. like if i if you are saying that and i am telling you something then show me that you're actually listening because mm -hmm. if I have to repeat myself 30 more right. times then it's like are you even respecting what I'm saying I shouldn't have to tell you 10 times no then you weren't listening it's, yeah. it's that simple that's very true lady Katie had a talk with me about listening very true <laughs> yeah how's that going um it, it's <laughs> actually going really well yeah. Tyler wasn't listening earlier this week and I don't even know if you realized it you go can you repeat that? Because I wasn't listening. And I was oh. like, I almost teared up. <laughs> <laughs> just growing up right before my little old eye. I'm trying, y'all. <laughs> Listen, uh, ladies, I'm trying to help you for when you one know. of you yeah. finds him. <laughs> All right, we're going to change now gears. Now repeat back to me. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to change gears, gears here. I enabled the call in. So call in. Yay. I want to hear about your advice, good advice, bad advice, or if you're seeking advice on anything. We're here for you. So call in, come hang out. Let's do the damn thing. Let's do it. This is my favorite part of the show. Damn thing. It's okay. talking with y'all. Okay. Damn You got to use this on Todd from now on. We we do hey. this to Antonio when he's not listening. Antonio's say, too. I know. But <laughs> Here's the thing, y'all never We're going to use up. this on it. We're going to use this on Tyler right now. Are your listening ears on? <laughs> we ask him that question. You know what he does? He puts them on and looks at you. <laughs> okay, that's so cute. All right, Tyler, are you listening ears on? They're on. Or it's like, <laughs> flap. You're going to see Ty around the office being like, 
<laughs> I'm ready now. One, two, three. Eyes on me. <laughs> or you might take them all. Focus, focus. Wait, and something that Kate's going to sing to us after the show. Clean up, clean up. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> did your shit. All right, we got a caller. I'm to get y'all to clean up. <laughs> I sing that song to him, too. <laughs> Taylor, what's going on? Hey, oh my God. I like just took a bite of my salad. So <laughs> sorry, but hello. All good. How are you all guys? Good. How are you? How are yes, you? How are you doing? I am good. Clearly eating dinner. I'm just about to go grab some drinks with some friends. But there we go. Yeah, just tuning in. You guys have become a part of my Tuesday night, so it's super fun. Oh, I appreciate you. Hell Thank yeah. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I have some fun advice. Well, it's really like my favorite relationship advice. Um, and it came from my grandma, which is it always makes everything makes so much better. I, I'm so intrigued. By <laughs> I love her. She's awesome. So my grandparents had been together for 59 years, I believe, before my grandpa had passed. Um, and I recently just asked her, um, like, what she would say to anybody trying to find their person um, or, you know, feels like they're in a rut or just needs some relationship advice. And she said, which has stuck with me and I think will stick with me going forward. She said, happiness isn't the goal, but it's the result. Mm. Um, so, uh, yeah. And I just, you know, asked her to like unpack that a little bit because that really hit me and I, you know, love that. And I'm going to take that into all my future endeavors and stuff. But she just said some of the de deepest moments that she experienced, like with my grandpa is when, you know, were some of those trying times, um, the hard days and the hard situations where she has felt true love between them. Um, but also in the simple moments and the little things too, I think that, those certainly shouldn't be disregarded. Um, and yeah, so that's what I took from her. And it was just been, you know, sticking with me the last few weeks or so, um, you know, that I think relationships always need to be like 100, 100 versus like 50, 50, feeling like you always have to give, you know, that person, um, all the love, all the understanding, forgiveness, acceptance that you have to then experience that in return. So, that is my, like, those are my mantras going forward, I would say. Um, yeah, Taylor, but, I love that. that. Me too. Yeah, I know. So, like, my grandma's over here just spitting facts. I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to, like, speak in my ear going forward and all that. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that. I really, that just really hit me and definitely is going to stick around. No, uh, I, I love that you said that. And it made me think about, like, remember when I was on uh, The Bachelorette and they were asking me, like, you know, you know, about my issues with my, my parents and their relationship. And the biggest issue was like when, when times were hard and things went south and things were going wrong and work life, you know, all that stuff, my parents didn't turn to each other. They turned to their vices, mm -hmm. you know, and like mm -hmm. what you said right there is like, you know, happiness was found. Like once you got through these hard times together, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I think it's important, you know, that's how you grow. That's how you build things. It's, that's why your grandma and grandpa have something that's special. You know, yep. they turn to each other. Beautiful. In those trying times. Mm -hmm. I, know. That, I know. And that's, that's what cool. makes happiness at the end of it all, you know? Exactly. Yeah, it came full circle when she said it that way. I guess I never thought of it. But, yeah, I mean, a lot of us have that idea of a happily, happily ever after in our heads. And it's certainly not like that. And, yeah, I mean, true happiness, true love comes from a lot of those trying times and stuff. So, I love my grandma. She's awesome. I love her too. I Damn. love her too. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Give her a big hug. From Taylor, all where are you living? I am in Minneapolis. Okay. Um, I've bikes. called before with you guys too, but oh yeah. Well, sorry to have a, a win on you guys sorry. with Miami Dolphins. <laughs> I had my money on the Vikings. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, Taylor. Yeah, but. I yeah, I come down to South Florida here and there because my parents um, have a rental in Boca. So, oh, nice. um, yeah, on a fun note, though, I need your guys' recommendations because I'm coming to Jupiter for a week in January. So oh, hit dear. me with like rapid fire, like give me a bar, a restaurant and like a fun activity to do. All right. Bar. Square grouper. Top side. Done. Top side. Top side. Okay. Top side. I agree. Mm, I'm gonna say Johnny Mango. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Johnny. That's what I'm talking about. All right, restaurant. Okay. Go to Johnny everyone, Mango's everyone, last. That's fine. Yeah. Restaurant. You go first, Dom. You Tiki. Uh, food check. I'm gonna go iguanas. Hawk snappers. Evo. Okay. Ooh, Evo's a good one. But there, there's five good ones right there for you. The woods. <laughs> Is something fun to do? 
Get, get on the beach, get on the boat somehow, mm-hmm. get drunk, pontiki. There's something called the pontiki. It's like a pontoon boat that will take you out. You can drink on it. Yeah, running with okay. your friends is a lot of fun. Yeah. Yes, perfect. We'll okay, awesome. Thanks, Taylor. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thanks nice so speaking much. speaking with you. Have a great day. And thanks to your grandma. <laughs> Thank you. That was love awesome. you, grandma. Yeah. Love you, grandma. Love you, grandma. I love that. I want to, like, write that down. So I was going to type it yeah. in my That's phone. good, yeah. Very That's good. awesome. Very good. And it's so true. It's like life is so hard. Just finding that partner that makes the hard times a little bit easier. It's not the goal. It's the result. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you're going through a hard time and they support you, what's the result it's like of I that? got a little back. Katie. I can't hold it all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not, you, not you, Katie. I know, but I was going to tell you to look for a Katie. I hope it's the same Katie that I am wanting it. Katie, can you hear us? If it's not, I still love this Katie too. It's me. Can you hear me? Hey, Katie. Is this Katie Pure Bliss, oh, Katie? Yes, it is. It is. Oh <laughs> I didn't even. I was literally gonna tell him, and then I just did it. I was chit chatting. Let's go. Oh, Hi. thank you so much. I've been calling in weekly, trying to get on here, so I appreciate it. So I have to fill um, Tyler in real quick. This is who gave me the gift for you. That's on your desk right now. Oh, for my back. Yes. Yeah, oh. Katie. You know I got yes. a bad back. <laughs> <laughs> Try and, you know, you need to take some time to treat yourself. Um, come visit us, of I course. Will. Definitely come visit you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I would say my best um, relationship advice that somebody has given me is to not compare your relationship to other people's. Um, you know, everybody's on their own journey and you never really know anybody's um, relationship you know, you don't know what happens behind closed doors. So mm-hmm. I would definitely say that's always been um, my go-to is not comparing, you know, to what you think it should be or what it should look like. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree with you. And like, I think about Phil. And all I think about what happens behind closed doors is a whole lot of sex, Phil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know the truth behind all that, but that's what I think. I ain't bragging, but it was a great weekend. Thank you, Jesus. baby. <laughs> <laughs> but so no, Katie, I think, I, think, I think you nailed it on the head. You know, we get so, you know, worked up about comparing ourselves to so many things, others, social media, but even relationships too. Like, oh, they look so happy on Instagram. You know, they, they seem so perfect. But... You know, you don't know what it really is. Nobody's perfect. No. And a lot of times people will say their relationship is so great and so this and so that, and they're really not happy. Mm-hmm. You know, but the, like when like, someone said this the other day, and it's, we were sitting at dinner with him. Remember when Taj Boyd yep. sat there with us and he said, um, like, how are you doing? And people respond like, oh, I'm blessed. Like people aren't, people, I think people just say that or like, how's your relationship? Oh, it's just, it's going great. It's amazing. But is it really right. like? Are you just saying it to be like a like a humble brag? Like, like are you, mm-hmm. do you truly mean what you're saying? You know, right. and I think like, you know, so be careful like what you listen to, what you hear, like, and what you see. And also in the opposite, it's like not comparing in general. They might be very happy, but that doesn't mean you have to compare yourself no. to them. Just right. be happy for them. The happier you are for Definitely. other people, the more like happiness you'll have for yourself. Yep. For sure. And I think happiness looks different for everybody. So not judging somebody's situation that makes them happy because at the end of the day, their happiness is the only important um, thing. Yep. Agreed. Facts. <laughs> Katie, Katie, drop a knowledge. I'm going to come see you. Love it. The, the, are you guys open on the weekends or no? Yes, Saturday. We are Sunday. Saturdays. They're busy though. Call ahead. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm going to call and try to get this Saturday or next Saturday. Yeah, give us a call. I'd love to have you in. Amazing. Well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Katie, you're always my favorite part of the show. <laughs> I told your mom. <laughs> you're the best. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye, see Katie. you soon. Bye. Thank All right. you. I'm gonna She's end sweetie. I'm gonna end with She's this call. The best vibe I'm gonna end ever. with this. Talk about Taj Boyd just now. Yeah, and I saw something he's put today on his Instagram story. Let's hear Taj it. Taj Boyd always has great things to say. He said today in his notes, you could be good today. Instead, you chose tomorrow. The woes will continue. Mm. Mm. So be great the rest of the day. Let's get after tomorrow and quit pushing things off. I love you all. Thanks for tuning in to the Everybody With Me show. Episode 16 next week, Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. See you.